As we reported in the last video, that India is moving ahead with the emergency procurement of six Predator B drones from the US, and the Trump administration has revised the export restrictions on unmanned aerial vehicles, and under the new policy, the drones flying below the speed limit of 800 km per hour will not be subjected to the missile technology control regime. Top experts have said that this also allows India to acquire the next generation Predator C and the Global Hawk surveillance drones from the US, as both the platforms have speeds below 800 km per hour. The Predator C offers lower radar cross section and can fly at a maximum altitude of 50,000 feet with a flight endurance of 18 hours at a maximum speed of 740 km per hour and can be deployed in wide area border surveillance and armed reconnaissance missions. It can also accommodate up to 1,588 kg of payload in its internal bay, and has a total payload capacity of 2,948 kg if the six external hard points are included. The RQ-4 Global Hawk surveillance aircraft has a range of 23,000 km and an endurance of 42 hours, and it can conduct surveillance of 100,000 square kilometers of terrain in one day. The Global Hawk flies at an altitude of 65,000 feet, which also minimizes its exposure to surface-to-air systems. The US Navy took the delivery of the first two FA-18 Block III Super Hornet last month and an Indian Navy team will soon arrive at the Maryland U.S. Naval Air Station to witness the demonstration by Boeing on the compatibility of F-A-18 Block III with Indian aircraft carriers. The Indian Air Force is not interested in the F-A-18 Block III, while the Navy's assessment will find out whether it can deliver the required capability for the second under-construction aircraft carrier INS Grant under a new revised medium carrier Bonn fighter jet program. As the structures of nine light combat helicopters have already been manufactured, Hindustan Aeronautics can make the delivery of 15 light combat helicopters within six months of signing the 15 limited series contract. It is equipped with a chin-mounted 20mm Nexter M621 cannon, 70mm rocket pods, MBDA's Mistral air-to-air -air systems, and while efforts are being made to equip the light combat helicopter with a foreign-origin anti-tank guided system, the DRDO has now fast-tracked the development of the indigenous Druvastral anti-tank guided systems, so that dual launchers of the indigenous system can be fitted on both the Rudra and light combat helicopters by early next year. A retired high-ranking officer of the Indian Army Lieutenant General Satish Dua has said that the decisions of modernization or joint ventures taken by ordnance factories are subject to government financial regulations, which reduces their ability to function as an independent developer and producer of defense products. After the restructuring and corporatization, he also suggested to go a step further and allow selective public-private partnerships, as the ordnance factories have huge infrastructure and a trained workforce, and partnering with private industry will bring in best trade practices in management and production, along with the additional capital that can be utilized for modernization of production facilities of the ordnance factories. Lockheed Martin has announced that it will hold its 7th edition of the annual India Suppliers Conference and Exhibition on 27 July, as Lockheed Martin aims to strengthen its existing supplier ecosystem in India. The joint venture of Tata and Lockheed Martin have completed the 3D modeling for the F-16 wings, and will begin supplying the Indian manufactured F-16 wings for exports from October 2020, and has also built around 120 tail assemblies for the C-130J military transport aircraft for international customers. India and Japan are planning to hold a joint naval exercise in September while France have also expressed interest for getting back to the Indo-French Varuna series of naval exercises, and this addition might be conducted in the Arabian Sea. France also wants the Indian Navy to participate in a European maritime awareness project in the strategic Straits of Hormuz, that is located between the Persian Gulf and the Gulf of Oman. 
The Quad Group will also conduct the Malabar 2020 exercise in the Bay of Bengal in November. Following a move to restrict Chinese companies in taking part in government-backed orders, Indian telecom companies have cautioned the central government that countries like Malaysia, Singapore and South Korea can exploit the free trade agreement route with India to supply Chinese equipments in disguise, so the checking of country of origin should be made more stringent.